Welcome everyone to episode 3 of our multiplayer using the road to 56 here on Hearts of Iron 4. And you can see our players today. We've got two, uh, two of them playing co-op as Germany, Mao and Milky. Random British guys, the Brit, Santos and Cloven Chief are playing as the USSR. John Mann is Austria. Random Welsh guy is taking over Italy. Hopefully he can salvage what's happening there. Uh, USS Torsk is La Plata. Uh, Rixis is Canada. Mr. Beep is the Banana Empire. Malk88 is Japan. Louis Mann is Mexico. Dr. Stave is South Africa. I am the U.S. And Thomas Shelby, a.k.a. Insane, is China. All right, let's dive in. All right, and no sooner had we gotten into the game than two more people joined. So we've got our player for Colombia now. Um, Wild Hogs 2011 is who he really is, but it just says player right now. And then JD is joining as the Dominion of India. Hopefully he can keep up. Last time he tried to join us for a multiplayer game, his computer just did not want to make it happen. So taking an overview of the war right now, you can see we've got vastly superior manpower. Uh, the only question is whether or not that's going to help us in the long run. Because look at the losses. Five million on our side to one million on the other side. And most of that has been the French Empire, the Kingdom of Italy, who's lost two million. They're just getting just annihilated. And, of course, China losing half a million. So it doesn't matter we have much more men than they do. Germany has overrun Italy now. So things are not going real well over there. Hopefully, we can get the Soviet Union in on this action soon enough to really make something happen. Got people calling to arms. I don't think I'm going to do it, though. Okay, this is really just a war of attrition. I've got 62 divisions on the border here. It's only a matter of time before I break him down. Uh, you can see his organization is down to 71%. So even though it may not show me as winning, eventually he just doesn't have the manpower to get it done. Banana Empire keeps sending me... Uh, peace requests, but I'm not going to accept them. And yeah, we'll just keep wearing these guys down until their organization and strength is at a place where they just can't hold me anymore. Now you can see what we're working on right now. Experimental rockets. We're getting mechanized offensive, which is going to give me a bonus to my armor breakthrough, which will help. Let's go ahead and get 1940 weapons technology. All right, he's at 50% organization now. We're just going to keep watching that number go down. We're hitting him with our Air Force as much as possible. Let's see what's happening over in Europe. Uh, you can see where the war is right now. Czechoslovakia and Austria. Austria is on the side of the, uh, of the Germans in this war. They've declared war on Yugoslavia. Uh, so Sweden is also part of that uh, on the side of the Germans. Here's the situation now with the war. Now we've got almost... 10 million fielded manpower up against half that number. So eventually we're going to turn the tide in this thing. It's just going to take some time. It'll be a war of attrition. All right. He, he's got some Japanese jungle specialists that have come in to help out. Uh, that's going to slow things down for us a little bit. But the Bolivian forces are going to be out of there before too long. And then we'll deal with the Japanese jungle specialists. Looks like Canada's planning a naval invasion. We'll see how that goes. All right, we're gonna go for common cause in the special research division. That's gonna give us a reduction uh, in supply consumption. Although I think I might rather have the breakthrough. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's get the breakthrough bonus instead. We could probably use that over here right now. The Bolivian units are down to 19% organization, but the Japanese keep throwing more jungle specialists in there, but their organization's down too. So, And ours are actually still doing pretty good. And we're hitting as convoys pretty hard right now, the Bolivians. Uh, uh, Czechoslovakia is out, no surprise there. We're just trying, we're, we're doing a lot of convoy raiding on the shore right now, trying to cut off their supplies and really hurt their ability to continue this war long term. You can see there we just sank 60 convoys. That's huge. There's no way he can keep up with replacing those. Okay, and there you can see now we're showing 93%. So things are getting better. Um, it's just a matter of wearing these guys down. 
The Japanese are down to 56% on organization. Losing strength. We're easily replacing our losses. Even though we may be taking a lot of losses, there are losses that we can easily replace. And that's, like I said, it's a war of attrition. It's just a matter of time. It looks like these naval invasions might be getting ready to take off, and that'll help too. All right, so I've signed a white peace deal with the Banana Empire. He tells me that he's going to... I don't know why I have territory right here. That's very strange. Uh, he tells me that he's going to go allies. So uh, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt, and we'll see what happens. I don't know how long he'll last if he decides to join our side. All right, we've got new light tanks available. I'm also going to use some of my experience to maybe design even better ones. Let's go over to artillery. Okay, so uh, that was just a matter of dividing up Central America permanently. Uh, we had a long conference there. Oh, we got a naval combat going on here. We just sank 40 convoys for La Plata. That's fantastic. This convoy rating is going really, really well. We are seriously disrupting South America's ability to supply their troops. So hopefully now that we've permanently got control of all these areas we can start supplying a little better and as soon as they're able to launch their naval invasions I'm gonna make another press over here to try and push through. Okay it looks like the Axis has taken down Spain so now they're gonna be dividing up all of that land Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's happening over there. I guess we'll see once it's all done how Europe's map looks. Okay, our naval invasion has begun. Uh, in the meantime, let's go take a look at the European map as it exists now. Iberian Empire, German Reich, Romania just joined the Axis. So we're going to have our hands full when it comes to the great Mongol state joining the Axis. Oh boy. All right, let's see where we're at now. Field and manpower is now between 7 and 9 million. We still have them close to 2 to 1, but we've got to get a breakthrough here. This is what's really holding us up. He can't defend both. He's going to have to pull troops to try and defend over here. There's only one division there. We've just got to get that breakthrough. All right, now that we control enough of Panama, we're going to build some more naval bases over here. Uh, that's going to help with the flow of supplies, in theory, anyway. All kinds of weird things happening in Europe right now. So I'm going to max out naval bases. We're going to hopefully get more supplies flowing in. I'm also spamming a ton of air power so we can just completely dominate him in the air. We've already got him dominated by sea. Uh, so it's just a matter of getting that air superiority now. So the Japanese alliance is proposing peace that we stop fighting in South America uh, and instead turn on Europe. So I've been talking it over with my alliance members and they seem uh, to be okay with it. So we'll figure out if that's what we're going to do here. Okay. We've signed a white peace with the Bolivar Empire. I don't know why this national focus was canceled. Probably because I'm not at war anymore. Oh no, I am still at war. So who are we still at war with then? Is the question. Now first let's deal with finally upgrading our bombers. And our fighters, for that matter. Oh, hello. Non-aggression packs galore. Alright, there's our peace deal with Japan. So I'm working on keeping up with all of my research here. And now we can turn our attention to Europe. As we work out all these peace deals here. So now we start moving our fleets over to new 
patrol zones. Actually, we're going to do convoy raiding. Against the Germans. And we'll start moving our air forces over here to the UK. What is going on up here? Germany has invaded the UK. Okay, that's a problem. Let's get our troops over there as quickly as humanly possible. Okay, you can see all the divisions that I've got headed the UK's way. Let's hope that's enough for him to be able to hang on. I'm going to upgrade our production of carrier fighters to the 40s. We're going to start sending air power over here as well. It looks like uh, UK is pushing back in Scotland. And so by the time we get there, it should be okay. Okay, our Navy is now on the scene, and our Army is now on the scene. So now I guess we just park in the UK until it's time for Operation Overlord, where we can start taking back against the German Reich. It's going to take a while. We'll uh, definitely have to build things up. See what our naval battle results are here. Now it looks like just a couple of convoys were sunk. All right, we're on the scene. Yes, sir. Let's go finish things off up here in Scotland. As soon as we're able to move. Looks like he doesn't really need our help at this point, but that's okay. All right, I don't know why we didn't do this sooner, but let's go ahead and add field hospitals to our divisions. As well as maintenance companies for the armored divisions. And we just about have this. Uh, why did all of our trade. Oh, lack of civilian factories. Okay. I guess we'll have to deal with that. Where did all my civilian factories go? Ugh. Okay. All right, we're going to work on War Plan Black, which will give us attack bonuses against Germany. Let's also work on upgrading our maintenance companies. And we're just going to kind of sit tight for now. In the UK, we're setting up a defense perimeter. Attention. And then we're going to start establishing naval and air supremacy in the region. Oh, hello. Looks like Poland just joined the Allies, which I'm not entirely sure that bodes particularly well for Poland at the moment. They must have just got invaded by the Germans. That's probably why. I don't think there's anything we can really do about that, except watch it happen, because it's going to happen so fast anyway. Well, Germany just tried to offer me a peace deal. Uh, I declined it. Looks like Poland's actually hanging on a little better than we thought they might. And uh, I'm just kind of looking at things here. Yeah, I mean, Germany's got a no long term. He's in trouble. Now that we're not at war with Japan, but it's just a matter of deciding when we're ready to strike. Okay, the UK has opened a front in Spain. They've taken Gibraltar. And we'll send help as soon as we can. For some reason, some something to do with the peace deal we made, uh, we cannot join factions until September of 1943, which means I can't send my planes over to help out with, uh, with air power right now, which is kind of frustrating. Not entirely sure why that's the case. We're making big strides on new bombers. Just can't really do anything with them at the moment because I can't get my planes over there due to the faction stuff. Uh, let's start working on some advanced technology here. We also got to get caught up on our industry tech. Well, so much for the attempt at 
invading through Gibraltar. Looks like they've pushed back quickly on that. It's a good thing I didn't send any troops down there because they would have just probably gotten annihilated. Our plan now, I believe, is to go through Sweden, figuring that won't be as heavily defended as the German mainland would be, uh, the Atlantic Wall. But I'm really kind of just sitting tight with my army for now. Most of my army is back up to full strength, but we've still got a few things we've got to deal with uh, to get us there. Primarily, it's the support equipment because we added the new support units to all of our brigades. All right, we keep freeing up civilian factories. I'm going to build some more military. Actually, we might go ahead and transfer some more over. Let's go ahead and build a few more military factories first. All right, so we have an Axis Civil War happening over here, but we'll quickly squelch that as soon as I get a chance. So we're going to send these guys down there, and we'll very quickly annihilate him. All right, we just had a naval battle. We sank a light cruiser, uh, 10 destroyers, and a convoy. We've been sinking a lot of Swedish convoys lately. Seems to be most of what we're doing. I don't know if Germany's just not trading with anybody, but we just haven't sighted that many German convoys anywhere to be able to sink them. Uh, meanwhile, I'm just, I have to justify against the, uh, the fascist Mexican states before I can declare war and help out. It's going to take 90 days to do that. He may have already won it by that point, but we're going to try to help out anyway. Germany breaks the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. German Reich has called the United Mexican States as our ally in the German Soviet War. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. I have three times tried to justify uh, against the United Mexican States and it keeps uh, canceling my justification. I really don't understand why that's happening. There, I'm justifying once again. And then I'll go back and check a few minutes later and the justification will be gone. So I'm really not entirely sure what's happening with that. Well, it looks like the USSR is also collapsing against the Germans. I don't know why nobody can fight against Germany effectively. Uh, Italy just rolled over against Germany and got annihilated. Seems like the Soviets are doing the exact same thing. Nobody prepared to deal with his armored divisions, I guess, is what's happening here. But he's already losing massive amounts. I mean, 7 million losses against 1.5 million when we have such a manpower advantage, that's just a crime. So Moscow and Sevastopol have fallen. Uh this is frustrating. It just seems that nobody knows how to fight Germany. Guess we'll stop trading with the Soviets. Okay, in an effort to try and stem the tide of the German Reich, we have landed in Sweden. I'm sending 24 divisions to help out. I'm going to continue, though, with my plans to land Patton in Brest. We'll see what happens with that. I still can't send any of my air power over, though, because of that stupid, whatever that problem is with the factions. Uh, and at the end of October, I should finally be able to help out uh, in the Mexican Civil War and be able to crush that. All right, here comes our last, last ditch effort to try and make something happen. We're going to land. Patton and his 24 armored divisions in Brest. But I have a feeling that at this point in the war, we've just allowed Germany to get too powerful and there's probably very little we can do to stop it. And Insane just dropped out because he was stuck with nothing to do because Japan wouldn't uh, sign a peace with him, even though things were pretty much stalemated over there, and he couldn't get a uh, he couldn't get a national focus tree because he couldn't get the peace to be signed. 
Uh, I'll show you what's going on over in Asia. You can see he's got all this territory. There was no fighting going on, but Japan wouldn't sign a peace treaty, so he told me he was probably going to drop out because of that. So this one may be coming to an end because our allies in Europe just couldn't get the job done. We'll see what happens here, though. I just don't have the numbers to be able to sustain this on my own, though. As soon as we land, we'll send everything we've got, a last-ditch effort to make this happen. And the USSR just capitulated. All right, well... Not that it means a whole lot at this point, but we are going to deal with the Mexican problem quickly now. But that doesn't do a whole lot of good. I mean, the most we can hope for now is to try and just keep the UK protected with our Navy. And that's about it. Maybe get nukes at some point. That's about it. Alright, so we're going to start building some ridiculous tank destroyers. That will hopefully be able to do something against him. And we're going to add those to all of our divisions. That's both armored and infantry divisions. Looks like we're up to medium tank 43 now. And we're just going to start spamming a ton of divisions and hope that's enough to get something done here. Special research division. We're going to start looking for other options there too. Anti-German Voltron is the name of a new faction. Boulevard Empire and the Korean Empire are in it. I mean, I don't know if any of this really is going to matter. Look at the greater Germanic Reich as it exists. Uh, and most of these other countries are actually no longer controlled by human players. I don't know if there's a lot we can do, but I'm just trying to spam as many units as I can. All right, we've completed nuclear reactors. We're going to go after rocket engines next. We're well ahead on the technology for this stuff. Let's see what's happening with our naval. Oh, nice. We just sank a German heavy cruiser, 35 German subs, eight destroyers from Italy, it looks like, uh, and three Swedish convoys. Nice. At least we're doing something good. Okay, and uh, as we expected, uh, I didn't mention this earlier, but Germany kicked Sweden out of its faction, and now they've declared war on Sweden. Which, of course, we're, we've been trying to offer Sweden a peace deal, but he won't take it. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. I think it's pretty much a foregone conclusion that Germany has won, but I want one last crack at them. I'm spamming as many divisions as possible. I'm going to try to land uh, here in Spain. Uh, there's a decent naval base there for supply, and we're going to throw everything we've got there. And by that point, I also should be able to finally join the British faction, which I haven't been able to do because I screwed up and technically was considered to have surrendered in that peace deal even though it was a white piece uh, so we're gonna wrap it up right there let us know your thoughts use the comment section below and we will see you again soon thanks for watching